So today what I'm going to do is show you how I think the subconsciousness works. So first, I think we start in life and we have thoughts and thoughts that build upon each other and they reach some kind of end point. This is the present moment. These are all thoughts that are related to this path of thinking. So we'll have many paths and all of these thoughts originated as conscious experiences. And now, so here, this color indicates forgotten rationalities. So all these thoughts are in a process of rationalizing different conclusions. And eventually we forget how we got to the conclusions over here, the endpoints, and we tend to forget how we got there, only memorizing maybe some critical aspects of those conclusions. Now, I think essentially what's occurring over here is that we automate a lot of our conclusions, and this can be in the form of thoughts or in the form of even actions. Uh, so when we're learning how to ride a bike, we rationally conclude that certain actions or um, behaviors fail to make riding the bike a successful pursuit. So, yeah. Now, I think what's interesting is if we later learn something else that actually contradicts these parts. I think that once you contradict these parts um, from a later conclusion, I think um, we won't be aware of this and we won't realize that it fundamentally contradicts this over here. and. I think this is why a lot of our behaviors might appear irrational, and maybe it could be that many of the intellectual people really practice keeping track of all of this. So, um, I'm trying to think what else could be added here. Um, I think that could be it. So basically, I think that the subconsciousness is um, basically everything that we used to think that we forgot about.